Hi, hi. Right. I thought we'd have a go at um, finding the inverse of a 2x2 two two matrix, uh, see how quickly we can do them. Uh, the steps are, if you've watched the other videos, find the determinant first, uh, find the matrix of cofactors, then transpose the matrix of cofactors, which is also known as the adjugate when it's transposed, and then multiply the adjugate by 1 over the determinant, which we've already found. So let's try some examples, see how quickly we can do them. So say we've got x is a matrix, which is a 2 by 2. Elements are 2, 6, 4, 5. Uh, the determinant of x we write as x with the bars like that. And it is equal to 2 5s, 2 times 5, take away 4 times 6, which is equal to 10, take away 24, which is equal to minus 14. So the determinant x is minus 14. Now we need to find the matrix of cofactors. Now that is, take each element in turn, look at the diagonals, and that's what the element will be. So from 2's point of view, it looks across and it sees 5. From 6's point of view, it sees a 4. From 4's point of view, it sees 6. And from 5's point of view, he sees 2. But the other thing we have to do is the signage goes like this, plus, minus, minus, plus. So plus, minus, minus, plus. That is the matrix of cofactors, which equals C. Now to find the adjugate, which is the transpose of C, we write the matrix again. Take the first column and make it the first row. 5, minus 6. Take the second column, make it the second row. Minus 4, 2. And that is equal to the adjugate. Now the inverse, known as x to the minus 1, is 1 over the determinant, 1 over minus 14, times the adjugate 5 minus 6 minus 4 2 scalar multiplier 1 over minus 14 is the same as minus 1 over 14 so it comes out as draw the same shape for the answer for the inverse x to the minus 1 is the inverse minus 5 over 14 and minus 6 over minus 14 is just 6 over 14 because they cancelled the minus ones then we've got 4 over 14 and finally minus 2 over 14 and that's it that is the inverse of x let's try another one the determinant of w is equal to 2 times 11 take away 5 times 3 which equals 22 take away 15 which equals 7 so that's the determinant uh, the matrix of cofactors draw another 2 by 2 matrix. What does 2 see? It sees 11. What does 3 see diagonally? It sees 5. What does 5 see? He sees 3 and 11 sees 2. Then don't forget the plus, minus, minus, plus. So that one's a minus, that one's a minus. Now to find the adjugate of matrix W. Draw out a 2 by 2 again. The first row becomes the first column and the second row becomes the second column. Or you could have said the first column is the first row and the second column is the second row. It's the same thing. So that is the adjugate which is known as C transpose and the matrix of cofactors is called C. Now the inverse of W, W to the minus 1, is 1 over the determinant. So it's 1 seventh of 11 minus 3 minus 5, 2, which is a scalar multiplier. Even though it's only 1 seventh, it's still multiplying. So that's 11 over 7, minus 3 sevenths, minus 5 over 7, and 2 sevenths. No decimals or decimal fractions needed. The determinant of A is equal to 1 lot of 6, take away 2 lots of 17, which is equal to 6, take away 34, which equals minus 28. So that's the determinant. Now the matrix of cofactors equals C and we draw a square bracket. What does one see? He sees six, 17 sees two, two sees 17, and six sees one, looking diagonally. Don't forget, these two have to have their sign changed, no matter what that is. And to find the adjugate, or the transpose of the matrix of cofactors, we make the first row a column, or the first column a row, it doesn't matter. And then the second uh, row column, or a second column a row, so it's going to be minus 17, 1. So 6, 2 is going across. Now it's going down. 
minus 17 1 was going across now it's going down so that is the adjugate of matrix a now the inverse of a or a to the minus 1 is 1 over the determinant times the adjugate times the 1 over the determinant is 1 over minus 28 which is the same as minus 1 28 if you multiply or divide top and bottom by minus 1 and then we've got 6 minus 17 minus 2 1 multiply each and every element by 1 28 or actually minus 1 28 you get minus 6 over 28 you get minus 17 over minus 28 is just 17 over 28 and then minus 2 over minus 28 you could say it's 1 over 14 or 2 over 28 because that one actually cancels down and then minus 1 over 28 and that is how to find the inverse of 2 by 2 matrices.